Welcome back to another camera channel. Today, we're talking about the Blackmagic Universal Rack Shelf. And if you're watching this video, you probably already know what it's for. It's a rack shelf. Let's jump into the video. Yes, yeah, so this is the Blackmagic Universal Rack Shelf. This is the new product which is replacing, I believe, the Terranex Mini Shelf from Blackmagic, which I have one over here, and I'll just show you now. This is the Terranex Mini Shelf, and this is what I use in my 4K streaming rig. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's right up there, go show it some love. Uh, but this is what I have in it. I have my HyperDeck HD Mini and a Web Presenter 4K, and these are third rack sized units. And in the middle here, you can see there's a fascia, a one third fascia, uh, which comes with the kit. In fact, you get two things, two more things. You get another third fascia, uh, kind of cover, and you also have this one sixth cover which attaches to the side of a unit and it kind of blocks any gaps. Let's say, for example, you're using a half width rack unit like this Ultra Studio 4K Mini here. As you can see, I have this third rack unit here. I need to block, you know, cover the gap here. That would basically attach there. Pretty simple, right? This is what came in the old kit. And there's one more thing about the old kit I need to show you. It's the holes at the bottom. So let's have a look here. So looking at the bottom of the old unit, the Terranex Mini Rack Shelf, um, you can see, if I turn around here a bit more, uh, you can see the layout of the holes. So we have two kind of in the center here, right at the front, that's for connecting like fascia plates. And then these two here in the center are used for connecting racks or units inside the rack. So for the third rack units, you can see that's how it connects like there. But what happens if you want to connect a half rack unit. So I'm going to quickly take off one of these and we're going to connect the half rack unit and see how it connects. So there we have it. This is what a half rack unit and a third rack unit with the one sixth fascia plate in there. I haven't screwed this in just to save time. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, that's what it looks like. Very, very nice. And yeah, it connects with two holes here and two holes here. Here you can see the space between the back of the shelf and the back of the units. Uh, there's not a lot of space, and there have been criticisms that you can't really get the Ethernet in. If the Ethernet is upside down, like unlike these, these are the right way around, so you can actually easily disconnect them. But if the Ethernets are upside down, you can barely get your finger in to undo them. So this is apparently what they tried to fix with this unit. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside the box, what do we have? Polystyrene. Great, lovely, thanks for that. So we have here the shelf and a box of accessories. And inside the accessory box, we should have, we have some small screws here and they have different lengths. Um, oh, we have some side screws, which I don't know if I got last time. I can't remember because I don't have the box anymore. A one sixth fascia plate and two one third fascia plates. Looking at the hole design, way more holes this time. So this is the new rack, this is the old rack. So you can see significant height differences here between the two, way longer. Uh, so let's attach some units to this and see how they fit. I've connected up a half rack width unit and a third rack unit here and um, Cool little difference I noticed. So on the half rack width, we now have a third hole, a third screw hole to use. So a little bit more secure. Third, uh, third rack unit is exactly the same. Um, but yeah, you, the main striking difference is the length at the back. You can see how much more space there is. Um, I reckon if I grab one, one second, I reckon there might be even space to even, I mean, the height isn't perfect, but if you, you could probably attach a couple or like mini converters in the rack somewhere uh, with all this extra width, either on top or if you had some space below, you could probably attach it to the bottom because there are screw holes that are available. You could probably get one screw or something to attach. But yeah, uh, so that is pretty much the difference between the two. I believe they're not going to be making any of the Terranex mini shelves anymore. And these are also the same price as well. Um, so yeah, it's just an improved product, which is cool. A lot longer. But with extra length, there is going to be extra weight. So this is going to be slightly heavier than the older version. But yeah, pretty cool. Let's hope there's going to be some exciting new Blackmagic uh, products this year. 
hoping for like a ATEM 4K constellation. That would be pretty cool. Not that I want it to fit into a rack, but if it was its own self-contained product, which was rack mountable, that would be pretty damn sick. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Give it a like. Share it with someone who's looking at rack shelves. And if you want another video to watch, how about this one right here? See ya.